In order for the firefighters to do their jobs this winter, they need your help. Fire hydrants across the state are buried under feet of snow from last week's storm. WCCO's Mary Ellen Moe shows us how you can help keep yourself and neighbors safe. Every year they've done an outstanding job of keeping it clear. A neighbor cleared the snow around this fire hydrant, giving Kim Gale peace of mind, knowing firefighters will be able to access the hydrant across the street from her home in an emergency. It also helps there's a bus stop right there, so then the kids can congregate right there without you know, being in the snow and they're off the street. It should be common practice to shovel around nearby hydrants each snowfall so they don't look like this when they're needed most. You'll be really thankful if there's ever an emergency the time that it saves the firefighters. When hydrants are buried in the snow, what helps fire departments find them in case of emergency are these flags. They're on every hydrant in the city of Andover and on other hydrants in cities across the metro. Even the Andover Fire Department had to shovel out their own hydrant on Monday after the plows came through. The snow so deep and frozen, they needed an extra hand to clear it. It's been multiple times in my 30-some years that hydrants been buried, and our delay in providing service is us spending the time to clear the fire hydrants. Fire Chief Dennis Jones suggests homeowners adopt hydrants in their neighborhood and maintain them during the winter. He says snow should be cleared at least three feet around each hydrant. It gives the firefighters ample opportunity to work around it by connecting hoses and other appliances. In Andover, Mariel Mose, WCCO 4 News. Cities do try to clear hydrants as much as possible, but truly depend on homeowners to be responsible for hydrants nearby. On the cool days and the warm ones, our next weather team is here for you. The quickest way to stay on top of the forecast is by downloading our free weather app. That QR code on your screen there will take you to it in the App Store.